What is up? I know it has been a while, but um, hi. So I am on here because I received a message in my Tumblr and of course you know me. I wanted to answer it, so. It says, I know it's been a month since she lied to me, but damn, that fucking moment still sucks my feelings. It really breaks my heart. I chose to trust her again, but why do I have this strange feeling that when we are not together, it feels like she's always doing something inappropriate, like cheating, hmm, I don't know. That was definitely anonymous. You could have these strange feelings for many reasons. It could be one, that you've had these feelings before, that fear that you have, maybe it could be because actually something's happening behind closed doors. when you're not around like as you mentioned your intuition maybe something is just not right maybe something is just not right and I think that sometimes you have to listen to that and here's the thing everybody's gonna have their own opinion some people believe that there are some instances in some cases and some people that deserve second chances others don't believe it it's all up to you I think that from what I'm being able to see here it it's making you suffer in a way and I think that if you're feeling this way it's not gonna be beneficial for you or for her whether she's actually doing something or not behind your back I think it's gonna cause a lot of tension if it hasn't already I know it's causing a lot of tension in yourself and stress because you're having these constant feelings and I think that you're dealing with this part of your broken heart and I think that maybe you should take that into consideration and realize that what happened happened and uh, maybe it's it's not gonna be enough for you to kind of just put it behind you and try to move on for the situation. It could be something where you maybe have to just get out of that. I don't know what the lie was about or how bad it was for you, but if it was something like you mentioned cheating, and this is my personal opinion, I personally don't stand for cheating, you have to use your best judgment. If you believe that she's cheating or is going to cheat, then why are you keeping yourself in that relationship? I just need to bless me. <laughs> I don't think you should remain in a relationship where you can't trust someone. I know there are things that you can do, like try to work on it, but at the end of the day, if you don't feel like you can trust the relationship, you can trust that person ever again after what happened, maybe it's time for you to move on and find somebody else or work on yourself and then later on down the road, find somebody who you can trust who won't do these things to you. And I don't know, it could just be you, like I said, having that fear or being scared or going back to that feeling or worrying, or it could be that there actually is something there. I mean, you, you, you yourself have to see these things and see what it is, what it actually is, uh, because nobody can really help you unless it's yourself, you know, because we don't really know the situation. But I do want to say thank you so much for coming to me with this and trusting me. I think, I think that you don't deserve to be cheated on. You don't deserve to be lied to. Know that you're worth so much more. Like I said, I don't really know the situation going on here. I don't know how this person treats you or how you treat this person, so I can't really say much. But at the end of the day, whoever it is, whether it's you that wrote to me, whether it's somebody else, whoever's watching you that are watching, uh, know that you're worth so much and don't ever allow anybody to mistreat you or disrespect you in any way. And you do the same to them. Don't disrespect them, don't mistreat them. If you're not happy in a relationship anymore, if you're not 100%, obviously you're never gonna be like 3,000% amazing every single time in a relationship. It just doesn't work that way. There's just all these things that happen or could happen. So, you know, take that into consideration. But there are many ways to help and fix a relationship and work on a relationship together. It should always be something that is takes two. Um, and it should be both of you both putting in the effort. And uh, I think that if you are no longer happy, if something's not working out for you, if something's bugging you now and you guys can't come to, you know, figuring it out, then I think that's where you have to really have that deciding factor, make that decision if you really want to stay and um, feel this way or not. One more thing I want to say to you anonymously, well, to you, but to the person that sent me this message. I think that what you're going through right now, the feelings that you're going through right now, the situation, the event, it is not meant to stay this way forever. It's an event that happens in life and you're given this event because it is known, it is a known fact that you will be able to get over it. You can handle it. You wouldn't be giving anything you could not handle. Um, and I think that's something you need to remember always remember that and it's not meant to stay this way it's gonna happen you're gonna overcome it you're gonna move on life's gonna go on something else is gonna come along but just know that the situation that you're going through this event in life this pain everything is meant to help you learn grow become wiser become stronger and that is something very very positive that's a very good thing if we're not dealing with things if we're not overcoming things if we're not learning things we're not moving forward and you want to move forward in life so to you i just want to say yes you may be suffering right now you may be in pain you may be hurting but it's not meant to stay that way you're going to get better you're going to get through it um and if you want to help yourself get there faster you have to help yourself you have to want it you have to push yourself you have to stay positive and know that not every single person is going to treat you the way this person has treated you or may have treated you or lied to you remember that and don't don't let the bad the negative things happening right now change you for the worst only change you for the better grow from this learn from this sooner or later you'll see 
exactly what I'm talking about if you haven't already. But yeah, so use your best judgment. If you think that you trusted this person blindly and you gave it a second chance, it's okay to take a step back and say, hey, you know, this is not working out. I thought I could give it a chance, but I can't. You did this to me and I don't think I could ever recover from it and be 100% cool about it and it's gonna bring a lot of problems and so I have to remove myself from this relationship and move forward and we all both go our own ways and whatnot. So I don't know, you have the decision in here and here and you'll be able to tell what you should do next. Yeah, I wanted to get on here and I wanted to answer this and I know a lot of people could actually benefit from this and it's been a while since I've sat down and did an advice video and I've been wanting to do more, but I've currently been working on myself. So this is what I'm saying, you know, just take some time for yourself and learn more about yourself and, and love yourself, love yourself. Love yourself enough and more to know that you don't deserve to be feeling this way and you don't deserve to be in a relationship where you're disrespected or mistreated or any kind of you know relationship or anything where you're just not 100 percent happy and of course as i said it's not always going to be that way but there are things that you can work on and if you're no longer happy in a relationship and things aren't working out you know you just know that your option is not that you have to stay there there are plenty of people out there in the world and i know that maybe that's not what you want to hear but that is the absolute truth and sometimes we just need to hear it how it is so so thank you again i hope everything gets better for you please check in with me if you do get a chance and let me know how everything's going and yeah so I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of time on this video and clicking play. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys very soon. And please, before I go, don't forget to follow me on my social medias. And you already know, if there's one thing I want to call to mind, there are actually three. No matter the highs or lows, always be sure, always be certain to do good. Be grateful and stay humble. I'll see you guys next video. Bye.